light the streets up. Good morning, everybody. Um, I am sitting in my car, actually right in front of my house. It is Monday morning. And I just felt like having a heart to heart, especially with the women out there. Okay, 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 you guys, I am tired, when I say tired, I am tired, um, you know, I just really felt like, I just dropped, um, one of my girls off at school, she's a, she's 17, she's in high school, she works two jobs, so she doing the damn thing for herself, you know, but that's not even the reason why I jumped on. Um, sometimes you just want to have some alone time. You know, and I find that I find <laughs> sparingly that by sitting in my car, believe it or not. Um, it is, we have five kids, a grandson. We, my husband and I are workaholics. I have two jobs. He has, uh, we own a <clears throat> barber shop. Um, and I'm pursuing a few business ventures right now. One with my sister and, um, one solely. And sometimes you just need some me time. And I think we need to find that wherever and whenever we can. Sometimes it's the commute um, from home to, to, from work to home. Sometimes it's from one job to another job. Sometimes it's just sitting in your car in a parking lot having a cup of coffee um, like I just had to do. Something just said, Quita, pull over and chill for a minute i felt like i was have have you ever felt like you were just overwhelmed like i don't want to have to be responsible today i don't want to have to think i don't want to have to do anything for anybody else sometimes it, it just feels that way and what is your you guys out there my subscribers my soon-to-be subscribers what is your outlet what do you do to What do you do for yourself? What do you do to comfort yourself? What do you do to um, take care of you? Because as as being a mother, a wife, shit, a girlfriend for some people, um, or just being single and and be, or being a single mom, single dad, or anything like that, what is your outlet? What do you do to to make yourself whole again do you do anything or do you just walk around feeling lost and chaotic all the time it, i mean it's a possibility some people don't know some some people don't have an outlet to get that that negative or that overwhelming energy out i i'm starting to learn how to meditate um, I'm getting into, you know, our chakra and all of that, and it, it does help, but I'm, I haven't been consistent with that. We should all have an outlet to get out unwanted, en unwanted negative energy. I just felt like I needed to, to. And that's what I use this for is it's an outlet because I know that I'm not the only one walking around feeling this way. <clears throat> Yesterday was a pretty much overall pleasant day, but it was just like 
non-stop like from the time I woke up I was cooking breakfast washing clothes cleaning house um, making sure people got from point A to point point B and where what time will you be home and who are you gonna be with and um, my grandson is a handful so I'm trying to do all of those things juggle juggle all of those things and record and um, walk my son through the process of editing and, you know, making sure that my 11-year-old daughter is happy with what she got for Easter, that she's looking cute, you know. We consume ourselves with other people's happiness, well-being, um, more than our own self. We... I know for myself, I'm a people pleaser, and that is so freaking exhausting. I, you know, if somebody's down, are you okay? Well, as far as my immediate family, um, even with my teenage girls, I hate to tell them no. I, I can't say that I often do, you know. Um, they are, excuse, excuse my hand, you guys. I'm trying to get this camera angled correctly. They are... Um, they are extraordinary young women. So I don't see why I should have to tell them no for anything. And they know that. They they know that I hate telling them no. So when they want something, they'll definitely try with me or dad. I feel like I'm rambling. But I feel like I needed to get some words out this morning. Like, I'm just... I feel like heavy like my anxiety was on 10,000 this morning and I needed to like talk it out I probably won't even edit this video you guys it's gonna go up the way it is but sometimes you just need to talk and get it out even if I'm talking to you guys it's a form of um It's a form of me getting it off of me and out into the universe, getting that negative energy out. I just woke up like, I just need some me time. And I mean, I literally sat in the parking lot um, where I just came from, had a cup of coffee, and sat there for like maybe 30 minutes watching YouTube um, just to be alone. I think we all need some alone time and we need to steal it whenever we can. Most days, <laughs> the only time I get some alone time is when I go to the bathroom at work. Because if I'm at home, somebody's going to be in the bathroom with me. And they would just walk in the bathroom. I could be washing my everything and my girls would literally come in the bathroom and hold a conversation with me which is good and bad because they can talk to me about anything but I don't want to talk to you about anything right now but I know that's like it's like a contract we sign when we become mothers that yeah my my personal time is done and it's now all about everybody else which is like a catch-22 because that's not fair either. We have to find an outlet. We have to find some source of relief. And I used to find that, you know, when I got overwhelmed, I could go to the gym and walk on the treadmill for about 35 minutes, which I need to start doing again, which I probably will when I um start my next... Oh, I can't exercise on that. But yeah, it was an outlet to get stress out. And then after that, I was so relaxed once I was finished and could sit down. But our mind, our mind could, our mind works in, it could work for you or against you. Yeah, I mean, you can just be, you could be having a very positive day and something in your mind will creep in just negative as can be and just turn everything around. Um, that's if you give in to it. Now, I know that ain't nothing but the devil, but sometimes, like I said, it, it's overwhelming. Yeah. 
just wanted to have a, a, a woman to woman um, with everybody because I know I'm not the only one, only one that walks around sometimes with with just feeling heaviness or being overwhelmed by life and we can't run from it so this could be a, a resource a outlet for me it's just to talk through it all right guys i just i um, wanted to vent a little bit um like comment subscribe share 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 tell your mama daddy sister brother auntie uncle to come by here and see mitch true red bone thanks for stopping by leave your comments in the bottom tell me if you can relate um tell me if you're a mother out there a wife out there a girlfriend out there and, and you understand the heaviness sometimes the um anxiety can creep in so fast and it can go wrong real fast but yeah thank you guys for listening peace